Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Armed Forces including Army, Air Force and Navy has initially projected a requirement of 97 Tapas UAVs which were reported a year back by ANI on 17th July 2023. However, the program received a major setback as it failed to achieve the requirement of armed forces which is max flight altitude of 30,000 feet and endurance of 24 hours. This is the reason why the program has been dealing from the mission mode project and the order of tapas has been trimmed down from 97 to just 10 for now. On 22nd June, it was reported by ANI that Navy has planned to acquire four tapas mail UV for maritime surveillance. On 23rd June, a day after, ANI has reported that total 10 tapas mail UV is planned to be acquired. Indian Air Force will be the lead agency for the acquisition and the proposal for same has been made to the government. Out of 10, 6 UVs are for Indian Air Force and 4 UVs are for the Navy. The Indian Air Force at present operates Israel Origin Heron Mark 1 and recently acquired Heron Mark 2 and both are deployed across the northern and western frontier. Tapas is going to boost the Indian Air Force surveillance capabilities across the border with China and Pakistan. At the same time, Indian Navy is going to use Tapas for surveillance across the Indian Ocean region. The Navy is also acquiring two Drishti 10 star liner drones from Adani Defense. While the Tri Services requirement of male UAV is of 97, the Navy needs 20 of them. The Army is also acquiring two Drishti UAVs from Orion Defense and it has no plan for acquiring Tapas male UV as of now. Now talking about this T10, it is an all-weather military platform that can fly in both segregated and unsegregated airspace and has NATO's Estenac 4671 certification for UV systems airworthiness. Its electro-optical payload includes multi-spectral payloads and laser designator or marker. The other payload includes SAR, GMTI radar, and MPR, that is Maritime Radar, Electronic Warfare Payloads, Electronic Intelligence, and Com Intelligence Sensors. The UV has max takeoff weight of 1600 kg, max payload of 450 kg, endurance of 36 hours, and service ceiling of 30,000 feet. At the same time, the indigenous male UV tapas is able to operate at an altitude of up to 28,000 feet with endurance of 18 plus hours. It is highly reliable UV with fail-safe architecture employing redundant indigenous high rail subsystems. The UV also features a jam-resistant detailing that enables UV to operate beyond the line of up to 1,000 kilometers. It can carry payload of up to 350 kilograms and is integrated with SATCOM and can carry EO or SAR and electronic warfare payload. Tapas, as we all know, has inherent limitation by design because of its airframe. This is the reason why DRDU has initiated a complete new design and development of UAV called Archer NG. Archer NG is going to be a single engine twin boom that is SETB UAV designed to perform I star and strike missions. This will again have the line of sight range of 250 km and beyond line of sight range of 1000 km. It can operate up to an altitude of 30,000 feet with an endurance of more than 18 hours. Archer NG will be able to carry 300 kg of weapons payload which will include smart anti-airfield weapon, anti-tank iron missiles. It will be integrated with SATCOM and can carry EO, SAR, and electronic warfare payload. This UAV is expected to take its maiden flight in 2024 and it is planned to be ready by 2026 for the user trials. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.